You're watching Unreal Ant Gaming. This is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You want to see me turn Super Saiyan? Or should I take it to the next level? I'm also the narrator, too. Next time on Dragon Ball Z, make sure and smash subscribe to Unreal Ant Gaming. <laughs>
and he created an avatar, which again, I do want to go ahead and apologize for the translations because the translations are completely wacky, they're completely horse crap, but in the end, it would appear that the Omni King is insinuating that the universe does have a soul and that there is, in fact, a creator behind everything. As the Omni King then goes on to explain, because emptiness is meaningless, so everything must be created, and I set gods and angels to take care of things so everything is my power you think you can exist without me as beerus goes on to comment i've never heard anything like that as the omni king responds time passed so long i couldn't remember all the only thing left in my mind is life never died it's boring as beerus replies if these things are true i will never win as the Omni King then continues, you already know, this body is the conquest of the universe. So Beerus is basically conceding in the fact that he has no chance. He has absolutely no chance against what the Omni King is now. And the Omni King further went along to tell Beerus that, hey, I created everything, so essentially everything comes from me, and that this body is essentially indestructible, so Beerus has no chance of defeating the Omni King in any kind of fashion. To which then the Omni King goes back to his original form, bursting out with a smile, as he then goes on to tell Beerus, I love this form the most. And as he touches back down, he then continues, now it's the time for your dead, basically insinuating that this is it for Beerus. And as he slowly approaches him, the Omni King then continues, I will destroy you without anything left. It doesn't hurt much, as Beerus goes on to state the Grand Priest was right, he was just too dangerous. We have no way to win! Which really solidifies the fact that the Grand Priest had said it since the beginning, that there is nothing, absolutely nothing that Beerus could do in his own right to stop the Omni King, as this is it, the Omni King is telling Beerus, your time is basically up. And with Beerus standing there, the Omni King then creates a massive ball of energy. As the Omni King then goes on to tell Beerus, this energy ball is equivalent to 10 billion sons combined, and Beerus is not risking it at all, because rather than challenging the Omni King's powers, what Beerus ends up doing instead is he quickly tries to get away as the Omni King further goes on to comment, after everything gone, I will create them again. So the Omni King looks deranged, because this is it, the Omni King is looking to not only now destroy Beerus, but essentially create everything all over again from scratch. And with the Omni King then tossing this massive energy ball at Beerus, the Omni King cries out useless effort because you will disappear with everything. So the Omni King is looking to destroy everything. As the blast slowly begins to consume Beerus, this is it. This is the end of Beerus. Beerus, in fact, was swallowed whole, and there was nothing remaining, because then, all of a sudden, as Beerus sees Black, he then begins to hear Lord Beerus, my lord. As Beerus then slowly begins to open his eyes, he quickly shakes his head by sitting up and crying out, Whis, I'm not dead! I'm not dead! With Whis telling him, no, it's, it's okay, it's okay. Did you have nightmares? And as Beerus quickly grabbed onto Whis, he went along to tell him, You're still alive! You're not dead! How is that possible? With Whis asking, Well, are you okay? I'm not dead, sir. But you are very restless in your sleep, so I worry about you. So everything that we've seen go down in Dragon Ball Super 1 billion happened in a dream. This all happened in Beerus' head, and that's why he's so happy to see Whis. But Whis seems to be a little concerned because he has no idea what Beerus is going through. As Beerus goes on ahead to breathe a sign of relief, he then goes on to comment really good. Oh, that was just it, a nightmare. As Whis comments, while you were asleep, I met some interesting people. As Beerus asks what, Whis continues, he trained me with his new power too much. As Beerus asks, wait, you mean Son Gohan? As Whis goes on to comment, looks like but not, I've always overlooked him. 
Next, he will definitely be superior to us. As an individual goes on to ask Mr. Whis, I have the god's power now, and as Beerus looks on, Whis goes on to tell Beerus he is here, sir, as only then, lo and behold, we get to observe two very familiar scars, a very interesting Gi said as Yamcha is now on Beerus' planet. And with Beerus having to face palm, he then went along to state, well, I'm too sleeping. As he sees Yamcha, he then goes on to cry out, no, I'm still in a nightmare. Anyone wake me up. Wake me up! As Whis further goes on to tell Beerus, my lord, calm down, this leads us to the end of the manga chapter as the very last page goes on to show Whis and Yamcha. As Yamcha goes on to ask, oh, um, Mr. Whis, you just called me for this? As Whis agrees in telling Yamcha, yes, now you can go home, the manga chapter special then comes to a close. Now, everything we've seen, right? Every little thing that we've seen in Beyond Dragon Ball Super 1 Billion happened in Beerus's head, right? So everything that involved the Omni King and the Angels and the Destroyers was all something that Beerus had dreamt up, which to be honest, I really like that concept and idea because at least this is something different when compared to what people originally thought this was or what it could be in the fact that people really thought that Beerus was going to turn evil and that he was solely more powerful than the Omni King and only something like this could that happen in a dream, and only in a dream, which I'm really happy that this actually takes place within Beerus' dream and not in the real world itself, but I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below about everything occurring in Beerus' dream. Do you guys think that we should see more fan mangas where things happen to take place in people's dreams and people's nightmares and stuff like that? Because I want to see more of this. I think that there is potential in giving us good stories with good narratives like that. But again, I do want to go on ahead and thank you all so much for watching. If, of course, you guys are new to this channel, then don't forget to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to never miss a single upload. Hit this video up with a like and slap a big fat thumbs up on this video, guys, if you guys enjoyed. Tune back in for more if you guys have not seen the previous Beyond Dragon Ball Super videos, then you guys can check out all of those chapters along with many other videos located down in the description box below. Tune back in for more, and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Have a great day, guys. Peace! And a quick little reminder before you guys go, if you guys are unaware, I do have a second gaming channel located down in the description box below, so be sure to head on over to Unreal Royale and hit that subscribe button along with turning on all notifications as to there, you guys will find all different kinds of gaming content that you will not get to find on Unreal and Gaming, titles and video games such as Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, Gears of War, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, Dragon Ball Z Legends, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Ten. Kaiichi 3, Minecraft, Blair Witch, and many other retro games on that channel. So if you guys are into gaming, then make sure you guys subscribe over on Unreal Royale. I want to thank you all so much for your time, and I'll catch you all in the next one. This is the Galactic Emperor of the Universe, and of course I'm here to tell you to subscribe to Unreal End Gaming. Also follow Unreal End Gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times. And if you don't, then very soon you will all be dead! <laughs> oh, did someone say unrelent gaming? Oh my god. The fuck's up, on? Put on some clothes! Well, why don't you put on any clothes? What? I don't need clothes! Jesus Christ, that's huge! <laughs> what, Broly? Freezer. Uh oh. Prepare to die! <laughs> <laughs> that I'm the biggest Unreal Ed Gaming fan. This is my moment. I'm a part of his notification squad. Universe 7 can have all the fun. I just want the food. And don't forget to leave a comment on this video. Show some love for the best community on YouTube. <laughs> K -k -k -k